Hello guys, I am doing an upgrade to my basement and I run into an interesting issue uh, that whether these studs in the video are load bearing or not. As you can see, they are next to a stairwell and I want to knock them off so I can have more open space. Uh, before we start, first of all, let me show you what's the direction of my joists, which are the uh, structures that parallel structures uh, goes under the roof that support all the upper uh, story, upper level uh, structure. So this is one of the joists. Uh, this is another one, and I have many of them runs parallel in this direction. So a common rule of thumb is that uh, if a wall or a bunch of studs, they run parallel to the joists or one joist, then we know that they are not load bearing. And you can see these joists, uh, they sit uh, right in the middle of this wall here, uh, while the two other ends sit on the uh, wall of the concrete, basement of concrete. Um, what looks confusing to me is that here, uh, next to a stair, next to, uh, to the, I mean, above these studs, I have a sandwich structure, which is a joist on the left, which is a joist on the left, and two double headers all together. So that makes me wonder whether these studs provide support to this joist or this uh, sandwiched structure. Maybe because it's a stairwell, so the, uh, how say, the support, they need extra support. I'm not quite sure. Um, however, um, after some analysis, I think they are, these studs are non-load bearing. So let me tell you why. Uh, first of all, these double headers, you can see these double headers, they have very little overlap with this, uh, how say, the horizontal two by four supported by this bunch of vertical studs. Uh, so because if these double headers are supported by these uh, studs, then the overlap should be much bigger. Actually, the overlap uh, is very, very tiny. Uh, you can see the, the overlap is very, very tiny. Basically, the double headers are completely out of the support of these studs. Um, and uh, in, in terms of this uh, joist itself, you know that all the joists, they are designed to be able to independently support the upper level structure. So probably they shouldn't really need an extra uh, studs here to support them. And then I go to, the, and then I try to figure this out by looking at what's the, on the other side of this uh, uh, basement uh, stairwell. So let me show you how it looks like. So I am above the drop ceiling of the other side of the uh, how say stairwell, uh, in the basement. As you can see, uh, this on this end, the stud, uh, sorry, the joist, this joist, this closest joist to the stairwell, is not sandwiched together with the double header of the other side. Okay, um, and so therefore that means that this joist or the joist on the other side, it's uh, oppo it's opposite the counterpart should be able to support the structure on its own without the support of those uh, studs, which I'm not sure whether I can remove or not. And then if you look at it here, it's the same thing. So this double header, this double header uh, has a very little overlap with the drywall or the studs uh, in, inside of the drywall. Uh, it may not be easy to see from the video uh, because of the poor per uh, perception here, but you can see it's very, very, uh, see, this is the bottom of this, uh, double header and it, it doesn't they have a very little overlap uh, with the drywall so my conclusion is that uh, these double headers whether it's on this side or the other side these double headers are pretty much freestanding they, they support they can support themselves very well without the need of these studs that I'm not sure whether I can remove actually if you look at the double headers where they sit one end of a double header sits on the concrete wall of the basement, similar to the all the, this joist or all the joists. And then the other end of the double header actually sits right here uh, on the same wall where all the joists, all the joists uh, put their weight on in the middle of their spans. So you see the double header actually ends here. So my, um, I believe that these double headers can support themselves uh, by bearing, by sitting on these supporting wall, this load bearing wall here, this load bearing wall, which goes runs across my basement, and uh, the other end of the drywall. So that's my analysis, and the conclusion is that these studs are not load bearing, and I can safely remove them. 
Let me know how you think. Um, uh, give me, definitely I need your advice before I collapse my house. Thank you.